All right, so uh, a couple years ago, we had a flat tire on our other camper, and it was a big deal on the side of I-40. And I had a jack, and it was able to handle the situation. But before we start going off this year, because we got a big trip planned to go to Oklahoma, I decided that I would spend the extra money, and we bought the Badlands three-ton jack. Uh, I've used it today. I put new uh, tires on the pop-up camper we just bought. Uh, but it made life so much easier. You could put the extension right there and it rolled right underneath the camper. And uh, it's got several different positions, but you can raise it up to whatever level you want it. But on the lower level, we're perfect for the camper. You don't have to jack it up as high. The jack was super stable. Uh, it's a little heavy, uh, so just be mindful of that. Uh, it's got a little position right here to where you can flip this down or up right here to where when you're doing that but when you go to move it around flip that down it locks in and you can just pivot it on the back tires uh, i've never owned a pro eagle jack uh, most everybody says this is pretty much the same thing as a pro eagle um, i didn't want to spend six hundred dollars on a jack uh, with all my coupons and everything i had from uh harbor freight i walked out there at 275 bucks for this so overall so far so good uh, We'll see how it works out here in the future. Uh, just keep watching and uh, we'll let you know. Hopefully we don't have any flat tires and we don't have to use it. But if we do, uh, hopefully it's not on the side of I-40 this year in the middle of Asheville. But we'll see how it goes.